so we're gonna be making a bevel gear today um, first you'll need the bevel gears okay you need your base plate and your C plate I've already got them attached from the simple gear train with idler from last time um, you can see I've already got two bearings crisscross there as long as they're overlapping that'll help support them and I got a couple axles here's the bearings pop rivets two pieces the um, collars there my allen wrench other allen wrench and we're good to go all right so um, first thing you'll need to do because the bevel gear transfers motion at 90 degrees this actually is not a bevel gear I need to go find one in just a second but at 90 degrees so I need to add another part piece of metal to it. Now I'm going to use this piece here. You do not have to use this. You can use something else, but this works pretty well. Touch that. Find it easier to twist them on with my hand first and tighten them up with the Allen wrench afterwards. Alright, so they're on there. Now it's a little loose. You can hear it rattling around. So Tighten it up. I hold the screw with my other hand, or excuse me, the um, nut, and then use the Allen wrench to tighten up the screw a little bit. All right. So now it's not rattling. Next, I'm going to put, let's see what height that's at. That's at uh, you want them at the same height, the bevel gears typically. So we have it go through there. So you can find that out before you put the pop rivets, or the bearing on, excuse me. Uh, in there. Remember, pop rivets always go in the metal first. Because if you put them on the other way, it'll be a little will not have as much support. So we got our two axles. Make sure they even up, which they do. Alright. We got our, our two bevel gears. So place one on this axle here. Hold it in place. I'm going to put a collar on this axle. All right. There.
spacers for the handle. Also need spacers here behind this bevel gear to help sort of force it so it doesn't fall out of place. There we go. Put this collar on behind this handle so it doesn't slide out. collar on here so it doesn't slide all the way. Alright, so um, as you can see that's pretty much it. So you turn this handle here and you can see how it rotates the motion um, or rotates the movement at a 90 degree angle because you have this axle here and this axle here. So you turn that and turn that. And the gears are the same size, same number of teeth. So that means the ratio should be one to one. And speed and torque are constant. All right. Hope this helps a little bit. I'm fixing to upload it for y'all guys today. Uh, all right.